Welcome back everyone. I apologize. My voice is a little off today. I have a bit of a head cold, so bear with me. Uh, so obviously I'm making a ring here. You can tell by the thumbnail. Um, but the inner portion of the ring is a three quarter inch water pipe. And then I took the Dremel and rounded off the edge. And took off the burr from the cutting tool. And then I just took some 120 grit sandpaper just to give the outer edge a little bit of a tooth to help when we're gluing it up later. And just cleaning off the debris from sanding here. And for the outer portion, I decided to use some denim. I got these old pants. thought I would try using that material and I'm just gonna go ahead and put the ring in here, the lathe and knock some of the anything that I missed initially with the Dremel and just kind of clean it up a little bit here obviously not a, a lot of people have it a lathe but a lot of this stuff you can do by hand or if you just had a power drill or even like a drill press maybe the only thing that I would recommend getting if you decide to do this is the arbor that the ring is sitting on right now. And I'm using a couple different thicknesses of glue. I use the medium weight, or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> uh, to just initially set it. That way the glue is just not running everywhere. And then the activator to instantly harden the glue. And set set. I just go ahead and start winding the material, keeping it taut until I get to the thickness that I think I'm going to need. And you want to go a little bit past what thickness you want because you're going to sand it down and shape it. So you got to have a little extra material and you can always grind it down from there. And I got to where I want it, set it, and I'm going to cut it here and then glue that little tab down. take the thin uh, super glue here and I'm just completely saturating the material you want it to get every inch of that uh, cloth soaked because it's you want it to basically become sort of like how fiberglass works is this going to be hard I would definitely recommend doing this outside or somewhere where it's ventilated and definitely want to wear a respirator as you can see the uh, smoke coming off. And now it is completely set and we're ready to turn it down. Since I have the lathe, I went ahead and cut the outer edge flush with the copper, or pretty close. Uh, obviously if you don't have a lathe, you can use a belt sander or just have a piece of sandpaper on a hard flat surface and just take your time and uh, sand it down that way. I should have taken the, the ring off at this point and sanded it down a little bit more, wet sanded it. The outer edge was a little bit proud and if you look in the pictures at the end the outer edge isn't quite as shiny because they ended up sanding it after all the polishing and sanding here but I'll know for next time so I started with 120 grit and I worked up I think the grits were like 120, 240, 320, 600 and a thousand and then finished it off with some polishing compound and obviously you can go a lot further with that depending on how much of a polish you want on it I was just kind of building it making the ring to demonstrate the process but you can take it as far as you want as far as the sanding goes
and I keep rotating it, flipping it over. That way I get an even sand on both sides. It's kind of hard to get the side closest to the lathe because it's covered by that mandrel. And just polishing up with some compound here. Now I'm just going to wrap some masking tape around the outer edge just to protect it when I put it in the chug here. And just leaving a little bit of polishing compound on the inside to give it a little bit more shine. Take it out and wipe it off the compound and this is what we ended up with. I think it turned out pretty cool. It's definitely uh, Something I enjoy is just making things to see if you can do it. It's kind of the whole process, but hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. I just cut through my map.